where do our civil liberties get curtailed or lessened when there's a state of emergency and how much power does the government have? And it's kind of like a balancing act, like a seesaw. The more rationally related the government's restrictions are to protect the health, safety, and welfare will start to overcome or lessen your personal civil liberties. And as that disaster, if you will, or that pan this pandemic abates and gets lessened, then there won't be a rational relationship any longer for the government to continue to limit those civil rights. Do you think that the NRA then does have a case against Cuomo and New York State? Yeah, I, I think they do. I think, in fact, they're going to point to those jurisdictions which they're going to say, and here's the argument I'd be making. Hey, social distancing, all those protections from the CDC, they're all important, but the Second Amendment is enshrined in the Constitution itself. And in a particular time of unrest, People have a right to be able to get weapons in order to protect their safety, their homes, and their families. And the government has stopped that from happening. I think the NRA has a good case.